Good morning and welcome to TMS Book Club. My name is Soela Langeni from Book Circle Capital. We're an independent bookshop that focuses on African literature. And today I'm excited to talk to Ayanda Gaba, who's an award-winning uh, self-published author from KZN, who is passionate about her family, women empowerment, and traveling. Welcome and thank you for being here, Ayanda. Thank you for having me, Soela. Congratulations on your latest book, Damned, which is part of a trilogy. Thank you, thank you, yeah. This is your fifth book, actually. What motivates you to keep writing, Ayanda? I guess nightmares. <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> um, writing is very therapeutic for me. Okay. And it's also a way that I um, express myself. Yeah. Not really a good talker. Okay. So um, when I'm going through whatever I'm going through, yeah. I'm going to be writing, yeah. And you focus on the genre of psychological thrillers and horror. Why this passion? Oh, the world is scary. Mm. <laughs> the world sure. is scary. And um, I don't know, it's exciting. Yeah. I want you, uh, the reader, to sit on the edge of the seat every time they're reading and yeah. their heart is pumping, you know? <laughs> and people need that adrenaline. Right. So, yeah, but it also allows me to tackle difficult issues yes. and just make them entertaining. Yeah, and I mean, you highlight themes like gender-based violence, you know, the underbelly of crime, which is stuff that we know about in South Africa. Yes. But you do it in this uh, sci-fi thriller-like situation, which is entertaining. Yes, yes, because the aim is to educate while entertaining. Correct. Mm. So the book, Damned, it focuses on the main character, Dan, who then loses a friend, uh, sees her from the previous book, yes. The Skyd, and he's after revenge. What happens? What are some of the things you can tease us with so that we get into this book? So um, what I did with Damned from Scud, I, I did like a total U-turn because a person coming back from that book yeah. was thinking, okay, I now know how the story is going. Yeah. And I just turned it into um, this difficult but relevant story of three boys who basically raised themselves yeah. and they're now um, undercover crime cleaners yes. and they're very um, successful in their business yeah. and then when he loses his friend he kind of just unravels mm. and this also goes to the flashbacks of how they grew up losing mm. their parents and yeah then they made a mystery yeah. of him hunting down his friend's killers and uh, it's a trilogy so yes. I suppose when we finish Damned, we're going to be waiting. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Triggered is next. Yeah. Um, and luckily, I got a, a chance to go to a residence in the Eastern Cape. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to finish the book there. Nice. And then I don't know when I'm going to release because that's a totally different story, but I'm writing now. And what goes into writing topics like this? Uh, do you, is there a ritual you follow? Is there some product you consume to make sure that you, you know, material you consume to make sure that you keep yourself uh, motivated to keep writing? Wine helps. <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, there's so much material because I write crime, there's yes. so much material in the news, in other um, crime writers, yeah. but what keeps me going is knowing that there are people who read. Yeah. And when readers come back and say, ah, I see this character, I recognize myself in this character, yeah. I resonate with this character, that pushes me to keep going. And I mean, a lot of your fans talk about your humor in this. You know, in as much as you're writing about heavy stuff, yes. you weave in the humor. Why, why do you throw that in there? You need to laugh, otherwise, hey. It's, yeah, because it's difficult issues. And I'm always um, surprised, pleasantly, mm. if a person catches the humor, because yeah. it's dark also. Yeah. The romance is also dark. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, dark, it's dark stories. <laughs> but I just need, um, the person should cry and, and laugh and breathe, you know, while they're reading. Yeah. So that it's not just hectic stuff all the way. And congratulations, I mean, on making a way in this genre where we, we're seeing a lot more women claiming space and writing about dark humor, writing about crime, which is something that previously we, we were not seeing. Yes, yes, yes. And um, what I can say about us as women writing this, it's changing the narrative from a woman being the victim. Yeah. And we're actually owning the stories um, because if I'm about to write about rape, I'm going to own the narrative in which I present this story. Yeah. So it's very liberating for us and empowering it for us as well. Yeah. I mean, and then, so what's next? Are you going to go to the residency? 
more books, I guess, we're expecting from you? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely more books because, you know, I can't sleep on it, right? Yeah. Um, there will be a third book in this series, definitely. But mm. if that's going to be the last book... Or it stands to be seen. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I don't know yet. And still self-publishing. Speak to us a little bit about that journey because you, you continue to self-publish your work. Um, I like the, the freedom that comes with self-publishing. I like how you can control the narrative, yeah. um, tell the story exactly how you want to tell it. Yeah. And I, I never really did try to go the traditional route. Mm -hmm. uh, I self-published from the very first book. When I did try to look around, I was like, okay, now it's difficult to let go of having total control of the, product, yes, of the yeah. whole production. Yeah. Because now I detected how the story is written. Exactly. Except when it gets edited, of course. <laughs> and then the production, the, the marketing of it as well going forward. So yeah. that's very empowering. Thank you so much for being here, Ayanda. We congratulate you on your book once again. And we look forward to seeing more of your work in the time to come. That has been TMS Book Club with me, Siwela Langeni. Damned and other books by Ayanda are available in good bookshops nationwide. We definitely have copies at Book Circle Capital. Thank you so much for watching.